buckle up, because these queens are about to take us to Funky Town. Hey, all you foxy people. This is Mama Rue on the radio. And ooh, do I have a story to lay on you. Mama Rue on the radio. In the early 1970s, a new sound was bubbling up from the street. A hot mix of rhythm and blues, salsa, and funk with an undeniable beat. Disco was born, creating booty-shaking anthems for gay liberation, black power, women's rights, and the dance floor would never be the same. Disco celebrated sex. A throbbing beat that made you want to shake your groove thing. Meet a stranger, feel the beat, and let's get it on. Everybody say love. 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 brought different worlds together. At the legendary Studio 54, Liza, Halston, and Warhol did the double bump with drag queens, bus boys, and hot studs on roller skates. In this boogie wonderland, everybody was a superstar. Superstar, you know you are feeling free. spaghetti straps, feathered hair, designer jeans, and damn, those pants were tight. Disco gave us divas, Donna Summer, Diana Ross, and there was no shame in Evelyn Champagne King's game. But one disco queen paved the way for the rest of us. The fearless and flamboyant Sylvester showed the world how we could all feel mighty real. By the end of the 70s, the disco revolution was under attack. Haters shouted, disco sucks. They set our records on fire and our dreams became a disco inferno.
They tried to kill what we loved, but disco never died. It just changed its name and address. Today, disco reminds us that our souls are connected through spirit and how together we can do anything. It do take a village, people. <laughs> Look over here, the Drag Race YouTube channel is always bringing amazing content. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing.